Welcome back to the Venom Workshop. So today I'm going to show you something. I can't believe I've never done this video. It's really strange, but uh, I want to tell you how to, you can tell if your bike is an AC bike or DC. So if you have to buy a Voltatrex fire, anything like that, um, there's a real easy way to find out. Um, so I've got a 125cc lined up here. I've got a 200cc. I've got a 250cc and then another 250cc. The difference between these 250cc's, this is an automatic bike, and this blue one, the 200cc, is also an automatic bike. And then we got our X22R, which is not, this is a manual bike. And then we got our X20, which is over here, which is also a manual bike. Now, believe it or not, just because these ones are both automatic does not mean they're gonna have the same voltage rectifier. The, the best way to tell if your bike has an AC or DC voltage rectifier is by the engine. So if we come over here and we look at our X20, we'll start over here. We'll come down here. So if we look at the X20 engine, you'll see that it runs <coughs> vert or, uh, sorry, horizontal. So the engine runs straight across like this. So from the base of the engine, it runs directly out to uh, the cylinder, then the head, and that, that's how this one runs. Now, so any time that you see a, um, a horizontal engine like this, nine times out of 10, this engine is gonna run AC. Um, so anytime you see a one, one of these 125cc engines in our bikes uh, with the five speed, it's always running horizontal like that, Horizontal means AC. Now, if we go to the automatic, which is right here, this is the 200cc. You will also notice on the 200cc that the engine runs horizontal. It runs that way. So you'll see that our cylinder is up there, cylinder head's up there. It runs uh, completely sideways like that. So like I said, horizontal. So this bike again, so this is the X18R 200cc. This is gonna be an AC voltage rectifier. Now, if we get over to our other GY6, which is also an automatic bike, we notice that the engine runs vertical. So straight up and down. So if you have an engine that runs vertical, this is gonna be DC power. So DC is what runs this bike. So anytime you need a voltage rectifier or anything like that, when it comes to the electronics of the bike, you know that you're gonna be looking for a DC. Same with your CDI. If you're gonna get a CDI, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's a DC rated CDI. <clears throat> and the same with these. So this one here, because it runs horizontal, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it runs AC CDI. Same with that one, AC CDI. Vertical, DC CDI. And it's a, nine times out of ten it's always going to be that you might get some weird version in there um that have switched up or they they've messed or, or changed the, the voltage rectifier and things but on an average and i mean at 99.9 percent .9 of the time if it's a vertical engine it's going to run dc if it's a horizontal it's going to run ac and it doesn't matter if it's automatic it doesn't matter if it's uh it has gears that's just the way the manufacturers have set them up. So again, vertical, DC. So all we get over here to the X22R. Again, I, this engine has gears and it's vertical. So it's the same as this automatic that is running vertical. So this is gonna be DC. And this bike is gonna be DC. So it's just a little trick to remember. So a vertical engine, DC. Horizontal engine, AC. And if you always fall back to that, you will always buy the right part. So it's as simple as that, guys. It's a real quick, easy technique to figure it out. Look at your engine. Does it run vertical? Does it run horizontal? And uh, that's it, guys. So that's how to tell on your bike. And it doesn't matter if it's made by us. It doesn't matter if it's by Honda, Suzuki. It doesn't matter if it doesn't really make a difference. They all do the same thing. All the manufacturers are the same. They're going to do the exact same thing. So this one, AC. This one, AC. This one, DC. This one, DC. And like I said, it doesn't matter the, the CCs. It doesn't matter any of that stuff. If it runs vertical, DC. If it runs horizontal, AC.
there you go guys just a quick and easy tip if you're looking for a voltage rectifier or the cdi for your bike and you're trying to figure out if it runs ac or dc it's the quickest way to do it